So I want to, first of all, I want to thank you all for being here, for being present. I want to thank the artists first and anyone because you guys are the ones making this happen. You are conscious about the issues that are crippling society, our environment, and you are working to bring awareness. And that's very difficult. It seems like it's very easy, but it really takes the artist to get and to think outside the box to create an artwork that is going to bring awareness about Mother Earth and how we can protect it. In this exhibition, we have artists who are creating and uh, their subject is nature or they're creating with recycled materials or they're doing photographic work that is going to impact the consciousness of those who are watching and, and are in touch with their works. So everyone in a very special way is contributing to the planet. So I want to give a round of applause to the artists who are making this happen, who are bringing awareness to society and making a change, making a difference and making the world a better place for our future generations, hopefully, right? So thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna read you just a few words that I wrote about, about what's happening in the environment, and it's um, from the Arctic to Africa. The earth is feeling the effects of climate change. The environment is deteriorating. The ocean, the earth, and the air are suffering a process of degradation with unpredictable consequences. The exploitation of natural resources has caused deforestation, desertification, oil depletion, greenhouse gas increase, extreme energy, water pollution, the extinction of a species, and the list goes on. And for those who are living in the Arctic, who are living in Iceland, you guys know that's real because it's an everyday, uh, you're witnessing day by day. So Artists for a Green Planet takes a stand and joins the green cultural revolution that is transforming lives worldwide. Our mission is to inspire you to choose an eco-friendly lifestyle with a high degree of ecological integrity. Join us today in our work for an environmentally, economically, and culturally restored planet. And with that, I want to present the artists who are making this happen. We created the Arja Awards, which is Artivist of the Year Awards. And it's a way for us to say thank you to these artists who are getting out of their way to create these works. And Artists for a Green Planet established these awards in 2018, so this is our first award ceremony, per se. Um, and to recognize the environmental achievements of individual artists dedicated to work for the protection of the environment. The winners of the Art Awards are members of a growing environmental movement that is flourishing around the world. So we have a beautiful and very eclectic uh, selection of artworks and artists from so many different countries here. They have taken a path that most of us hesitate to take, thinking outside of the box, and they send their message of awareness through their artistic work. In honoring these artists, Artists for a Green Planet hopes that others will be inspired by their extraordinary works. So the artwork that uh, the award created for this was is entitled Ocean Blue, and it's over there. And what we wanted to do is showcase and prove that we can make things happen with recycled materials. So the award is ac actually a recycled piece of wood painted with lapis and gold dust and, you know, a lot of love, of, of course. <laughs> All right. So with that said, I'm going to present the awards to the artists. And I'll be reading a little bit about who they are. 
So the first artist to receive this award is an artist from Canada. And she supports the green movement by shopping at the local farmer's market. That is funny. Gardening, conserving water, recycling, and more. Garden Strawberries, which is here by A. Cylinder. It's a study of strawberry plants in her cutting garden where the rabbit is a regular visitor. So she depicts uh, also peaches over there from a local orchard. So her pa she paints subjects from the garden and nature and focuses on bringing awareness through nature by, you know, painting all these beautiful subjects. So this award goes to AC Liner from Canada. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You can say a few words. Okay. Thank you. I would like to thank Viviana and her staff for this nice honor. And I'm so pleased to be attending the event. And I hope you will enjoy my work. So I do keep a garden and really do have a rabbit who comes to visit me. <laughs> <laughs> and I also do volunteer with a wildlife rescue. And we hope to take care of all the all the animals out there and provide habitat for them and um, keep we often have drought where I live and uh, and so I try to conserve water and to keep the environment fresh and um, and very careful in recycling and uh, anyway I have do you shop at the farmer's market? I do. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so any, any small thing we can do to, to help the environment, yes. so I always think, is, is very good. So. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, Amy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and the next artist is, uh, creates very unique words. He expresses his environmental message not only through the finished canvas, but also through the creative process and materials of choice. So he basically finds stuff on the ground, walking down the road, on the streets, and he incorporates that into his artwork. And the work is light and hard-hearted, funny and serious, innocent and even strange at times. And it is like seeing the light and darkness behind clouds. And this artist is Robert Ross who is from Harlem. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Hi, Robert. Hi. Thank you for your work. His works are here, so you can enjoy them. I'm just letting you know where the artist works okay. are. This is really great. I, I want to thank you, and I want to thank everyone else. And um, like she said, I, I do kind of like pick up things on the street. I think I'm going to start using roadkill to get ahead of you guys because <laughs> it's still a little more creative. But, um, you know, I, I, I look around, I see some artists who've got signatures and you can almost tell their work anywhere. I, I'm pretty much scattered and I think I probably will always be. And I've seen a few ideas here. I made so uh, I appreciate this. Thanks you. Thanks. You are welcome. Right. <laughs> so the next artist. These artists are so amazing. I have to tell you, everybody has such a beautiful message and such impact with their, not only with their artwork itself, is that the whole creative process really makes a difference. So, born and raised in Northern Ireland, Brian Rock, he chooses to incorporate in his work the remnants of wood, dirt, glass, ash, wire, nails, bullet casings, so much more. And he works uh, creating a masterful composition that blends old elements with new concepts, uh, concepts of expression and artistic techniques. The art thing, as artists, I think we have a responsibility to, you know, be, be very conscious of what goes on here. Um, I don't think I bought paint in four years because I go dumpster diving for it and I go looking for it because there's so much stuff that's tossed out and wasted. Um, the, the art, my stuff's around the corner, but the one piece I just finished, well, recently was uh, the sculpture. Uh, where I live in New Mexico, I live in the desert, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of mining done 
during the last century and in the 1800s and they just go blow the mountain up and leave all the stuff lying around so what we do is we go out we pick it up and use it and that piece around the corner there that's it's actually a piece of explosive pipe that they had shoved in and blown a mine shaft with and now we take it out we turn something destructive into something beautiful and the recycled into new life and uh, yeah I think that's what we need to and do. that's awesome yeah okay thanks thank guys. you thank you <laughs> I'm going to read something that the artist wrote, just a few words. I view my work as a viable form of communication for my life's inspiration and struggles. Whatever confronts me inspires my subject matter. Although my emotionally expressive style remains consistent. The beauty and intriguing qualities of nature surrounding northern Idaho is singularly inspirational and worthy of expression in and of itself. And the next award goes to Alison Barros Young. <laughs> Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. I want to say a few things. Okay. Um, I'm very proud to be here and to be part of this. I really appreciate uh, Viviana's efforts to bring this forward. I think it's essential, and um, you don't see a lot of it. Um, and I'm just proud to be part of your thing, you Thank know, you. it's just so wonderful. So um, uh, my work is oftentimes is about helping people to really experience themselves in nature, um, but of late I've been really kind of angry at human beings, so I have a lot more figurative elements to my work as a result. That's over there, and so I don't even know if it really actually goes along, but I hope it does. And uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Allison. All righty. So we have a very special um, award to present to an artist who traveled very long distance to be here. And I'm just going to read a few words that he wrote. He said, Iceland is the least densely populated country in Europe, almost as big as the state of uh, Ohio but with only 350,000 people. Almost two-thirds of Island, Iceland is un uninhabitable. I feel privileged to live in such a natural world in all its forms. One of the beauties of photography is that it trains our eyes to see, not just look. Living in a land of ice and fire, a country that is ever-changing, Due to the natural forces, but living in the high north, global warming is extremely obvious to us. So this is an artist who's exposed to, you know, the results of global warming day by day, and he creates really impacting photography works, as you can see here, and he is Finner Pradesen from Iceland. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Ah, thank you. I was thinking this morning when I was looking out the hotel window how privileged we are there in the north. We just opened the window when we need fresh air. We couldn't open the window at the hotel. But I looked down at all those, you know, air conditioning units using all this power. And it's amazing to see uh, and the privilege we have with renewable energy, lots of water, geothermal energy and but unfortunately with increased tourism we mm -hmm. can see an impact on nature so but yes thank you thanks for your work thank you thank you <laughs> so our next artist is a visual artist who has a strong stance against environmental degradation Tini me up with other remarkable artists to help raise awareness on the harsh consequences of environmental destruction. She resides in New York in Long Island and she draws inspiration from the wavering seasons which altered the environment to beautiful effect. So without further ado, this is our uh, environmentally environmentalist of New York, <laughs> Lee Chu. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I very, very appreciate the Vivian. A lot of beautiful 
gallery. A lot of uh, famous artists in here. That's a very, very good opportunity to hear, to know everyone. Uh, actually, I come from Taiwan. Yeah, but uh, I love New York. I live in Long Island. Long Island is a very, very beautiful place. The ocean, the street, and the mansion. So uh, if everyone wants to visit Long Island, <laughs> you can call me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is very cool. We have a very international group of artists. So I'm going to read a few words by this artist who comes from Mexico. And she said, I love to work and do painting intuitively and letting my spirit go, exploring and experimenting with random and colorful in harmony with the brush using distinct methods. And this artist comes from Mexico, Elena Gutierrez. Yeah. I appreciate all the, the beautiful and great job that you are doing for this. And it's, it's great to work with people with like you and your all your beautiful stuff. Thanks. You are very nice. And I love my planet, like all of us and and I think we are doing a great job with this. Yes. Creating an uh, an impact right in the society mm -hmm. for well, for to take with responsibility <coughs> all the actions in the planet and enjoy the, our planet with responsibility. Yes, so. I agree. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Elena. Mm -hmm. Love your work. You. <laughs> I, I share a few words by the artists. I love sharing their quotes. My most recent artworks are developed with acrylic on canvas and the themes uh, are correlated having a deep and spiritual message. For me, it is a thrill to paint, developing my creativity, imagination, and intuition. Living, flying, and dreaming for revealing my spirit. It is a deep and intense pleasure. Nimi Trehan from India. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Nimi. Thanks a lot for this opportunity of meeting and meeting so many artists and sharing our work. Um, my work is inspired by nature. I find it very healing and I find it, I find an analogy between nature and life. Uh, my work is displayed there. A uh, couple of paintings that are titled Delving Deep is like, just like the earth has so many layers and the deeper you delve, the more you discover. Mm. Similarly, the more you then within yourself, you discover so much about yourself. And then I have this other painting called Resonance, and that's about connecting with nature, like we are all connected through, uh, through energy, through life. And uh, just being with nature, I really feel part of it. I mean, I'm part of nature, nature's part of me. And I find that very refreshing, revealing, and we've got to preserve nature for all the benefits that it has given us. Thank you. So we have another artist whose work I discovered this year, and I was very impressed by the nature of her work because she's very spiritual, but at the same time, she's very conscious of what she's creating. So it, it's a combination of intuition, spirituality, and really excellent technique. And she's also from Mexico, Maggie Brewer. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. With a heart. Well, thank you all for being here tonight. Um, I think what happens when we meet somebody like catalysts, the people that have the capacity to have an idea and to go for it, the tenacity and the truth and, and the recognition of, of, of all the things that can happen by just making the mark. It's about you, it's about Alan, it's about all your team, Cesar, everybody, 
It's very difficult sometimes, like my poem says, artists are arrows that find a way to, to get the peace that the puzzle craves. Apparently, artists are lonely, but we're always creating. We're always creating. When we meet people like her and like Alan, we're no longer um, neither alone nor scared. I was never scared to say, I love God, and this is happening for him, and I'm doing this because this energy is honoring me, is teaching me how to love life without, you got to do it. No, these are choices. Each one of my paintings is a choice that I have to live better, to understand without, um, if you don't do it, no. But it would be very selfish of me not to follow my intuition and to say, this is not only for me. And sometimes it's more difficult to actually go ahead and do all of these mm. than to just leave the stuff at home and give it to your friends. So I really want to thank you. Thank I've you. been watching the pro Oh, my goodness, I'm a fan. So I've been watching <laughs> the program. And I want to thank everybody for being brave, like we all are. And I, I bet all of you feel like we're not alone anymore in our mission just to be who we are and to want to do it and feeling inspired. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Maggie. So we have another artist that we want to present a special award, and that's, I, I, want, I do want to clarify something before I go on, and it's that the artists are actually going to get the award. But the awards are in the process of drying. They took a lot longer than expected. They're handmade. They're here. <laughs> we made them specially for them. And they're wet still, but they'll get them. Um, and our, this is the last artist present. But I do want to thank, before I go on, the artists who have participated. I do want to thank so much. Uh, and this is the cover artist for the Arthur International Magazine uh 18 fall 2018 and she creates really really outside of the box and she challenged me with an idea of creating a glow in the dark room in the back so i'm really happy about that her inspiration is all about the ocean the water preserving you know the creatures in the ocean and i'm really happy to present this award to Judith Gale, I'm happy you made it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It looks so great. Thank you. I just wanted to, I'm just very excited to meet everyone tonight and talk about their artwork and what inspires them. I'm just happy to show my work and hopefully, um, bring my message across that we have to save our natural world, which brings me my most inspiration. So thank you all. <laughs> thank you. Well, thanks to everyone. Enjoy the exhibition. And the main and most important thing here, really, uh, enjoy the artworks. But above everything, capture the message from the artist. Uh, this is not, you know, we repeat it and we hear it in so many ways on the TV and so many people. We really need to bring awareness for our environment. We have grandchildren. I have a granddaughter now. <laughs> we have grandchildren. We have future generations. We want to leave something special for them. And the legacy, the most beautiful legacy we can leave is a beautiful home where they can live and exist, right? So we really need to bring this awareness even more. We need to work harder and we need to be, be, be very brave and make a difference because it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy in the industry. It's not easy if you go into the business world. There's a lot of limitations. We have to be really brave to speak our minds, to say what we feel, to express where the inspiration comes from. And if you believe in God, you say God, you know, if you believe in your source, you say your source, whatever it is that you believe, be brave and be really bold because that really makes a difference. We don't need to be, 
the same, a, a little format, a cookie cut, you know, artist. We're different people. There's a lot of, there's an array of artists in the art world, you know, in the universe. But you guys are really special. I really want you to understand that you're really special. So you need to be bold and just push and just do and be who you are because you're amazing. You really are. Thank you. Thank you.